Welcome to ICOM's video tutorial on customizing the opening screen. In this video we will discuss the following including preparing and sizing the images prior to inserting them into the radio display, loading the file into the radio, and removing the image if desired. Prior to performing the following steps, it's important to remember to update the radios to the latest firmware revision and to prepare the SD card by inserting it into the radio and formatting the card. This step adds the required folders to the card file. By accessing the formatted SD card while in the radio or by inserting the formatted SD card into a PC, the programmer can navigate to the opening screen folder and drag the desired and properly sized BMP images into the SD card. Now in this example we've dragged two images into our SD card but because the dimensions of the image are critical, only one of them will work in a portable radio or an HM218 command mic while the other will only work in a mobile radio. Images to be used in an F5400 or F7510 series mobile radio must be saved to your Microsoft Paint program and adjusted to the exact dimensions of 318 by 148 pixels. The file must be named mobile.bmp and saved as a 24-bit map for the radio to recognize it as a screen display. Images for the F3400 and F7010 series are prepared similarly and adjusted to the exact dimensions of 294 by 220 pixels. The file must be named portable.bmp and saved as a 24-bit map for the radio to recognize it as a screen display. Now that we've saved the appropriate BMP files into the SD card, we insert it in the radio and power it up. The first time the radio sees the opening screen file, it'll take a few seconds to load into the radio, but after the first time, the radio will show the opening screen immediately upon power up and will display it for approximately 5 seconds. It's important to note that once a custom display has loaded into a radio, it remains active, even if the SD card is removed. Now the only way to delete a custom screen is to reinsert a formatted SD card with no custom display BMP files loaded into its opening screen folder into the radio, where the newly detected blank folder will return the radio back to its default opening screen. Reinserting this SD card with the BMP files deleted results in the radio reverting back to the factory default screen settings. Thank you for watching ICOM's video training on customizing the opening screen.